So, hello again for a new gun video. Uh, this time we will start a new project. For the swivel breech rifle I still just need to make the um, the, uh, the vent hole liners for the new project that will be the focus and on the maximum possible accuracy and it will be a Jäger rifle with a adjustable peep sight and yeah maybe with a Germanic stock with a, a chin stock and not with a normal stock like it's um, normal for US. Maybe I will make it with a chin stock up but I'm not pretty sure at the moment. Maybe you wonder why during the last weeks I didn't make a lot of videos but I'm still working on the house a lot. So changing windows, making new shutters and uh, yeah I have to get it until the weather getting shitty and uh, that breaks me down a lot. But now I hope I can make more frequent videos. Still I have four windows, uh, four windows to put into the house. Take the old windows out, making some new windows in. The to put the new windows in it's relatively easy but uh, to take the old ones out it's a nightmare more or less a pain in the ass without breaking too much so but we will start right now with a new video or with a new build and we start with the reaming of the barrel so here again you can see my home build reamer we have a sled that's uh, simply made of wood. The barrel is fixed on it with wedges. Here at the end we have a chain. On the chain I will hook a heavy stone. That stone will give the force by the chain to go forward and a reamer with a hand wheel. Relatively easy. In this case the reamer is a simple hand reamer with an extension piece welded together in a jig and uh, yeah it works fine many times. I grind it down a, lot, a little bit and resharpen it because last time I was a little bit too big. I was on uh, 12.9 for a 50 caliber that's to my opinion a little bit too big then the patches need to be too thick and uh, yeah first we make the reaming and later we will do when the reaming is done we will do the uh, rifling of the barrel as well with a homemade rifling bench so let's go So first we will put some cutting oil on the reamer. Then We find the center line. Then hook the stone on the chain. And then start turning.
you can see it's a rather slow process a lot of turning and uh, later we have to clean up the reamer the cleaning I will do after I would say every every inch of reaming I will do a cleaning of the reamer and maybe also blow out the barrel with compressed air to just to be sure that no strong dirt will disturb the reaming
So that's all for today. And next time I hope I will have the first row of reaming done and we can start with the rifling.